This is a story about a dog named Whiskers and his boy, Brian. What's that you say? <laughs> You've heard a thousand stories about a, a boy and his dog? Yeah, maybe so, but well, this one is uh, different. This one is a mystery story. Yeah, more about that later. Right now, Brian is about to run into a long chain of problems. The first ones, as you will see, are problems that he created for himself. Hey, Brian, why'd you take my boat? Well, I just borrowed it. Why didn't you ask? Well, I, I couldn't find you. Then you shouldn't take it without permission. And don't you ever take my boat again, whether you ask or not. Brian's lucky day. Still, luck comes in many flavors, sometimes sweet and sometimes bitter. It's what you do with luck that counts. Now, let's see what Brian does with his. shooting marbles. Oh, yeah? She beat me last week. Hey! Look what Whiskers got. Where'd you get it? I found it on the beach today. Can I keep it? Well, you better check with Mrs. Palmer next door. She has a charm bracelet very similar to that. I'm going to 
the cross house, Mom. Stop off and ask Mrs. Palmer if she lost that gold charm. And be home before supper. Whoops. Right there, Brian made a big mistake. Mom was right, as moms usually are. But he'll discover that soon enough for himself. Let me use your code ring as a trigger. Okay. If I can get it off. Okay, thanks. The ring goes on the nail like this. Mm -hmm. And the string will drop the snake. The girls take a hold of the ring. The snake falls down. All right. All right. It worked. Good. And now, okay, with the sign on it, the girls are sure to take it. Looks good. Yeah. As long as it doesn't get the sign. And hopefully the sign will Hi, guys. What's going on? We just put a booby trap. Have you seen the sprinkler system on the Jefferson's lawn? No. There's a picture of it on the back of my nickel. Look at that. Do not touch ring. Whiskers waited impatiently for his boy to finish up at the clubhouse. The dog was anxious to go exploring. A romp on the mud flats would do them both good. See you later. Hey, where's my code ring? Don't worry, it'll turn up. It's got to be here somewhere. Later, much later, something else would also turn up missing and our hero would find himself in a bigger predicament than ever he imagined. But for the moment, the boy and the dog whiled away the lazy afternoon without a care in the world. Then when the sun pulled its paintbrush across the sky, the two explorers headed home blissfully unaware of the turn of events that would take place the following morning. to buy Mr. Anderson a new paper. You've got to stop taking things that don't belong to you. <laughs> oh boy, flat. Just my luck. Brian should have followed his own advice. You've got to stop taking things that don't belong to you. He doesn't know it, but uh, he's pedaling right towards trouble. Thank <laughs> you. 
Did you see the sale? No, I haven't been over there yet. Hi, Brian. Hi. Like a newspaper, please? Yes. Hi. Hi, Tom. This isn't a real nickel. My trick nickel. How'd you get it? And where did you get this young man? Oh, Mrs. Palmer, I was going to ask you if that was yours. Well, it's mine, all right. It's off of a charm bracelet that has mysteriously disappeared from my beach bag. Well, that's all I found, just that one crab. It was in the sand. Well, I'll just keep it if you don't mind. Hmm, that's funny. When I was over on the beach, I lost a pair of earrings. I left them on my towel to go swimming, and now they're gone, just like your bracelet. Well, Tom has his trick nickel back. And Mrs. Palmer has her gold crab. That should take care of Brian's problems. Or does it? Get off my bike. And don't you ever take my bike again. I'll just buy his newspaper for your dad, Thief. Thief? What's going on here? Brian never looked at it like that. Or maybe it's time for Brian to turn things around. Oh, that's pretty. May I see it? Yes. It's yours, stealing. I took it. Hey, thanks a lot. Without my steely, I lost ten marbles in my last game. I'll give you ten of mine, okay? Yeah, probably ten marbles you ripped off someone else. There's a lot of other stuff missing. Did you take that too? Like what? I admit I took the steely and didn't return Tom's trick nickel, but that's all. I swear. Like Jody's ring and Alex's code ring. Jody, sure you took hers, but what would you want with a girl's ring? I didn't take those rings. I didn't even borrow them. Well, if you do, something very strange is going on around here. Maybe it's the ghost of a pirate. When'd you get it? That's what I was afraid of. Things have gotten out of hand. I can't find my ring and I think Brian took it. And I can't find my beach ball. I think he took that too. And my doll and my toe shoes. You know who took my boat? Brian did. Had to. If you ask me, I'd say Brian stole it. Brian took it. I didn't take all that stuff, Whiskers, but I'm sure getting blamed. While everybody's accusing me, the real thief is getting away. It's a mystery, all right, and we're the only ones who can solve it. Let's see. All the missing items disappeared in a pretty small area, right on the beach. Everything was little, pretty easy to hide, but not everything was valuable. <laughs> Whiskers! I think I know! Mm. 
It's okay, boy. This is just bait. It's the last thing I'll ever borrow. I'll return it to Mom after I catch the thief. thinks she'll clear his name by stealing in order to catch a thief who stole the items that Brian is accused of stealing. That's a curious kind of logic. I'll bet he'll catch more than he bargained for. Is that what happened to all the other items you borrowed? Honey! You, sir, stay put until your father gets here. I'm going up to the house for the tray, and when I get back, we're in for a long talk.
that I accused you of taking my things. I think this gold crab should belong to you after all. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Palmer. Why don't you join us for what's left of our picnic? Oh, I'd love to. I love sandy icing on chocolate cake. Son, if you ever borrow anything this valuable, again, for crab bait... Never again, Dad. I swear it. I found my baseball. Brian didn't take it after all. Well, what do you know? The mystery is solved. <laughs> the culprit is behind bars, and except for little sand on the picnic, all has ended well. The missing items have been returned. Brian has absolved of crime, has changed his ways. And old Whiskers is a hero. And the crab, well, some things never change. Hey, Brian, you can borrow my boat any time you want.